All right, we are live. Michael Lafito, welcome back to the 48th Luxury Lunch and Learn. Uh, we launched this way back in April, April 10th, I believe, was our first Luxury Lunch and Learn. And we wanted to provide content and resources and top, uh, top features and services that uh, both agents and brokers are, are doing today to stay relative and to bring, you know, bring value to their marketplace. So I'm really excited about today's guest. You know, in today's day and age, uh, there are a lot of virtual uh, closings. There's virtual meetings. We are doing this Zoom right now. We're doing it Facebook Live. And the, the real estate transaction is different today than it was pre-COVID-19. Now, there are agents and brokers that uh, were able to basically work remotely through uh, screen share software and, and, and that sort of thing. But today I, I have um, a special guest on and we're gonna be talking specifically about the transaction and how brokers and agents can save time, energy uh, to streamline the whole transaction. And so with me, I have the I, official title, I guess would be CEO, right? Founder? Yes. <laughs> uh, for it's Proppy, right? PRPY.com, PRPY.com, Proppy.com. Uh, they are, well, you, you describe, I guess, what the, uh, you know, I, I guess, how would you describe your company? Yeah, sure. Michael, thank you so much for having me today. I'm very excited to be on your webinar to share uh, some of the innovative uh, technologies and tips on how to stay relevant during the pandemic, how to be helpful to sellers and buyers. And uh, I know you're a great specialist in luxury aspect. And today, a luxury in the context of real estate has meant a myriad of things uh, from luxury staging, uh, color palettes to style specific decor, luxury photos, luxury virtual tours now during the pandemic. Yes. So has been uh, always kind of a mo moving target, but now it spreads to technology. And uh, before I get to explaining what exactly we are doing, uh, I think uh, it, it would be great to start with uh, uh, the touch and thinking about user experience, mm -hmm. uh, new technologies and uh, trends uh, are now defined by some standards like Apple and Tesla introduced. Um, they created uh, for the end user very clean and straightforward design, very use, uh, easy user experience. And this is what in my company we are bringing um, to the experience, whether it's a luxury uh, agent uh, or, or any type of, of broker, we want this feel of luxury uh, to be uh, present in our product. So having said that. Yeah, so, so, so real quick, you talked about the experience. So that is something, because we have some people watching replays that maybe aren't in the real estate industry, but they just want great marketing tips and suggestions. So the experience, we talk about silver platter experience, right? Giving that silver platter experience to the end user, the consumer, whether it be the buyer or the seller. And so that's a perfect segue into the experience and what, what Proppy does. So go ahead, continue on, please. Sure. Um, so Proppy is delivering a tool to close a transaction uh, seamlessly easy for the agent and their buyer or seller. So we have two main products. One is an offer management system, uh, which saves a lot of hours uh, for transactions, especially if there are multiple offer situations. And then uh, the second product is a transaction management platform, which has consumer experience uh, interface. Um, so these are the two products. And of course, I'd be happy to dive in. All right. So, so let's talk about the first product. So uh, I'm a real estate agent and uh, I have a buyer client or a seller client. Um, so Talk to me about what are some of the things that your, uh, your, your property offers. So is it fair to say, you know, electronic signing, uh, cloud storage of all the documents, 
so that if during the transaction, if the buyer or seller or their, their lender or their uh, attorney or title company uh, needs to, in essence, it's, it's basically cloud folders where they can share and give access to uh, the, the, the information? Yes, that's correct. Uh, that is correct. But it starts with even more simpler things. And let me actually uh, drive you through the offer, property offers, so that you understand how easy and simple this concept is. So on Propy, we um, generate a link, offer link, and then the agent puts this offer link on their MLS and private remarks the, and asks the buyer's agents to submit offers on this link. Don't send emails with offers, but instead put this, your offer uh, through this link. What happens after buyer's agents are submitting those offers? Uh, of course, you get a notification by email, you got the document itself, the executed contract, but also you got a text notification like ping, you mm -hmm. have a new offer. And in multiple offer situations, our uh, agents were thrilled to get 10, 20 messages. They put them on stories on Instagram, on Facebook, because uh, they're having all those offers and they know uh, it the second they got them. And the beauty of the system is that we um, summarize those offers and put them in one simple table so that we help the agent to compare offers, to compare terms. And so agents save hours and hours of work. Instead of them to create this spreadsheet, our uh, system creates a spreadsheet. And I know some agents are so nerdy or they have very specific markets and they need some more terms. So what they do, they export this table and uh, add additional terms and do some more manual work. But it's very simple start. They have this table already generated. But that's not the key uh, value. The key value is that the agent is able to share this table with their seller. And thus the seller has this unique experience First of all, they also get those text notifications that offers are coming in and they know, yes, I got the offer. The same moment when my agent knows that, I know this as well. So they praise those agents for transparency. You can't imagine how happy those agents are uh, when their, their sellers are saying, yeah, I got it as well right now and I can look it through it. Uh, they can have access to this table of comparison as well. And then obviously, once they got 20, 30 offers, if it's a multiple offer situation, they get on a call and go through this table together and the agent guide them through which uh, offer to, uh, to accept. So that's the, the main value is the transparency for the seller, the user experience that today's sellers deserve. Oh, that's, that's, that's awesome. So uh, I, I like the, uh, the aspect in the, in the private remarks uh, in the multiple listing service, um, because this way everything is in one concise place versus piecemealing a bunch of emails together and uploading documents to a third party site like Dropbox or something like this. Everything is streamlined, it, it, it's consolidated and uh, it's in real time. Yes, that's that's true. So, so, so that's the, the, the component the first component, the second component of property you mentioned, uh, talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah, so the second component uh, is the transaction management system. You can compare us to dot loop sky slow, but in fact, we're very, very different because we provide this wizard like experience to close a transaction. And the journey starts when the offer is accepted. So once the offer is accepted on our platform or even by email, we ask, do you want to start a transaction? And when you start a transaction with Propy, we encourage you to invite the consumer, uh, your title company, escrow company, uh, or closing attorney for close uh, for attorney states, uh, as well as of course the TC transaction coordinator. And uh, we are seeing a, a great willingness of agents to actually invite their customer, and thus the customer. Uh, has the access not only to the documents, but to the experience. 
because all other systems, they kind of, okay, here is kind of a Dropbox or a storage. And when you get inside, there's so many tabs, mm -hmm. tabs people, uh, document, like you cannot understand what's going on. With our system, it's a step-by-step -step, um, wizard-like um, guidance. So first you invite and set up the transaction. Then uh, you have those initial documents like purchase agreement and, and so on. And then we guide the consumer through um, the payment, deposit payment, earnest money deposit. Uh, then we guide them through uh, the steps of uh, title report, uh, mortgage uh, and, and so on till the very end the, when the deed is recorded and the keys are transferred. So, so milestones or deadlines could be manually entered in so that everybody knows. So, you know, today, um, you know, is, is mid-November, but if there was a, a contingency of December 1st that, that needed to be met, that could be manually entered in and the appropriate people would be notified or reminded of all the different timelines or deadlines and milestones throughout the transaction. Uh, one as kind of FYI for your information here are the, the, the next steps, but also for those that need to act, those that need to provide information, they're, they're notified, so to speak, through the system? Yes, that's correct. Uh, so we have uh, this uh, complex functionality for agents and TCs to work on their checklist, to determine which uh, documents are required to uh, input the due dates, as you mentioned. But the magic which will be happening in the next year is that, as you mentioned, they put manually those critical dates. Actually, uh, we're working on making those dates to be uh, generated there automatically, hmm. based on the purchase agreement, because everything is written there. Right. It's just a matter of, technology and tools to uh, get the data from the document and then of course notify all the participants and we notify uh, not only the consumers the agents and tcs but even escrow companies title companies they know when they need to upload closing uh, statements for example um, so it's it's a really um, making the, the journey of the um, transaction transparent for all participants so would you say, um, what's your ideal customer? Is it a, a brokerage, a large team, or is it more individual agents? I would say for offer management, uh, individual agents are buying those, uh, this uh, product uh, more often than broker owners. And by the way, we're just launching the free version of uh, property offers. Um, and uh, also, it, we call it Proppy Offers 2.0 because not only it, it is free for agents, but also uh, we just completed our integration with MLSs. And thus, we actually will ping you once you have a, an offer on MLS, we will ping you that uh, we saw that there is a new listing. Here is the offer link generated right away. So the agents don't have to do anything, they just copy uh, the offer link and put it on MLS. Um, and the second product, transaction management system, um, normally uh, broker owners buy them for their agents. And we have a variety of customers from independent, small, uh, even teams, uh, and two uh, really large brokerages that need a centralized system that want to give the best in class uh, solution for their agent. Uh, but having said that, we're constantly improving and innovating. It's, it's, uh, we love to compare ourselves to Tesla because Tesla is still not self, uh, it's not a self-driving car. But when you see updates every single month, you know that it's going there. Uh, so right. similar with us, we're evolving nonstop delivering features every two weeks. That, that's awesome, that's awesome. And uh, proppy.com, is that where they could find out more information? Yes, proppy.com. Um, that's the, the website where you can sign up for a demo and our folks uh, will be happy to um, show how the, uh, the product works. Uh, the team consists of uh, former broker owners, of licensed agents, of uh, TCs. Uh, so we, we really speak the language of uh, real estate a realtor. And when did Proppy launch? 2016. 
uh, was uh, the year when we established the company. I moved to Silicon Valley uh, from Europe uh, that year. And then to, uh, 2017, we did the prototype and the first ever transaction in the United States uh, was done in 2018. So the product uh, is live uh, for two and a half years. Last year, the National Association of Realtors invested in Propy. Uh, a month ago, a famous uh, uh, venture capitalist, Tim Draper, invested in Propy. Um, so we have a great support um, since the launch. Yeah, so, uh, so were you part of NAR's REACH program? Yes. Okay. So. Uh, for those of you that don't know, NAR has got a, a program called REACH where they provide mentors and, and uh, sometimes capital behind companies. Uh, and then you mentioned Tim Draper. That was a big announcement. Uh, so uh, he, uh, maybe you can describe Tim. And um, he obviously believes in what it is you guys are doing because uh, that's what he does, right? He's a, well, you described Tim. Yeah. I've not yeah. met him. So uh, we are based in Silicon Valley uh, in San Francisco Bay Area, and uh, Tim Draper is a legendary venture capitalist also located here in Silicon Valley. He's a third generation, second generation uh, venture capitalist, I believe. Um, and uh, he invested in companies such as uh, DocuSign, such as Tesla, X Space, Robinhood, uh, uh, Coinbase, uh, Hotmail. In, in fact, he was the father of the first viral online um, kind of campaign or network effect when uh, he invested in Hotmail. Hmm. Um, so he's just a legend. And last year, in fact, he had this book, You Should Start Up Hero. And I very much recommend to, to read it. He invested in Baidu, that's Chinese Google. Uh, so not that he's... Uh, uh, he's a very experienced investor here, and he betted on one of the craziest ideas, longest ideas, because, you know, Tesla, SpaceX, these are all long-term um, plays, DocuSign even. Uh, would you invest in, in a company where you know that e-signatures are still not adopted with all the challenges you have to go through? Um, uh, through uh, lobbying legislation, uh, but he bet on that because uh, he believed this is the future. In our case, um, he really loved how we utilize blockchain on, uh, in the infrastructure of um, our product. He's a strong believer that we should take care of data privacy uh, and immutability of key data uh, such as home ownership. Um, so this is why I think we we really uh, had a match. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really exciting. Uh, any any initiatives that you're about to launch that you want to share here, or you can't let anything out of the bag? Yeah, absolutely. I, I want really to again emphasize on this launch of Profi Offers 2.0. Besides uh, this launch of the new product, which is free and um, also has this new MLS integration. Besides that, we will be launching a new award, transparency award for transparent and honest agents. Um, so stay tuned, uh, uh, subscribe uh, on uh, Propy on Facebook, uh, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and we're releasing all those news there. That's great. And um, out of curiosity, are you, are you guys uh, in discussions with MRED out of Chicago, which is the fifth or sixth largest MLS? Not, no, actually, but it would oh, be great. Okay, yeah, I'm good friends with the CEO, so I'll make an introduction for you. Well, thank you. I will highly appreciate that. Yeah, Rebecca Jensen, she's, she's great at what she does. So, uh, well, that's good. Well, uh, what's the best way? So go to property.com. Yes, uh, sign up for the demo or just try our products right there. Uh, and social media, yeah, we're releasing the, all what's going on with the company on social media. We are very open, transparent. We're also having those webinars. You've been the guest. Uh, thank you for that. Every Wednesday, uh, you can uh, also watch those live and find the the webinar with uh, Michael Lafido. Yeah, uh, yeah. About a month ago, it was really insightful. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Well, hey. Um, Thank you so much for your time, Natalie. Um, this is just great co content. It's eye-opening, eye right? We're talking about an experience, the consumer experience, and where 
you know, people maybe aren't as comfortable traveling today, or maybe people have moved out of state and they're selling a property in their previous state and um, power of attorney or, uh, you know, documents being shared. And is everything kind of time stamped as well? So from a security standpoint, if they say, well, I didn't get this, or you didn't send me this, um, everything's from a security standpoint, time stamped where uh, if, if ever they, there was a deadline that uh, is in dispute, whether they met it or not, um, it's, it, 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 it lets you know that yes, they looked at it, they opened it, that sort of thing. Yes, that's uh, exactly right. And uh, besides that, every single log is immutable. Nobody can ever hug, uh, hack uh, those logs and timestamps because we record them on blockchain. So mm -hmm. they're immutable. And in the majority states in the United States, there are blockchain laws uh, that uh, state that a blockchain record is immutable and is uh, an evidence in courts. So if there are disputes or claims, uh, transactions on property will be actually um, an evidence in, in courts. I hope mm. this will not happen to our right. members, but, yeah. uh, but security is a, is a high, high priority uh, for us. And uh, yeah, that's, that's a user experience. We use DocuSign for e-signatures. Also, we just choose the best uh, tools uh, on the market to connect all, all the dots and, and the transactions to be executed online. That's great. Well, that's important, right? Doc, uh, DocuSign, uh, time stamping for security, for deadlines. Uh, you know, if there's ever any type of uh, liability, you know, uh, certain deadlines weren't met, it's black and white. So that's great. Well, thank you again for your time. And if you guys are getting value from, uh, from this episode, uh, please leave us a like, leave us a review. If you're watching this live, if you're watching a replay of it, please leave us a comment. And if you have any questions for me, uh, please send me an email, michael at marketingluxurygroup.com, michael at marketingluxurygroup. Uh, don't forget to check us out on the web, marketingluxurygroup.com, or for our designation, go to luxurylistingspecials.com. Again, leave us a like, leave us a review. We have our podcast, luxurylistingpodcast.com. I think we're on episode 113, 114 at the time of this recording. So keep raising the bar. No matter what you do, no matter what the economy is, no matter who the president is, prove others wrong, keep raising the bar, stay positive, and go make somebody's day. Michael Lafito, take care, everybody. Thank you again for your time. Thank you, Michael. Thank You're you. You're welcome. All bye right. Bye-bye.